What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, just left the service call that you're about to watch. Unfortunately, during, uh, I guess, the first half of the service call, uh, the phone, my iPhone storage was full and it stopped recording, but I was able to record enough so you could see <laughs> the disaster of what could have been if it was winter time and this boiler was operational. An absolute disaster. There could have been some serious injury and or, God, God forbid, loss of life. In summary, a Burnham Independence SIN5, 140,000 BTU gross, in, gross input gas fired steam boiler. Two headers coming out of the top of it. All the steam trim on it. Connected to a... <laughs> connected to... Wow. Five hydronic zones. And a uh, indirect water heater. The steam piping and the steam radiators were all removed by others. I'm there because I was dispatched to a customer seen us on YouTube and wants us to install a hydrostat. Here you go, ladies and gentlemen. Sir, I'm doing well. So, I'm okay. I've been following you for the last I don't know, four months, five months. Okay. Trying to, trying to, get trying to learn. Yeah. Okay. Know. Excellent. <laughs> trying to get steady. Yeah, Where's the race? Going, so, you know. right. So now I did this system. I bought I bought the house. And um, the upstairs was steam. Okay. The first floor was steam. The second floor was, uh, I mean, the second floor was steam, and the first floor was um, baseboard, and they had they had it hooked up some type of way. So um, so we just moved. So when we got uh, so when we got the, the deep, when you put the heat on, second floor gets steaming hot, and first floor was barely warm. So we, okay. have to, we have to keep playing with the, with the thermostat, trying to get everything to cool off. So um, I had a I had a friend of mine come by, and uh, he told me that I had, I had to replace the whole thing. So when uh, oh your friend told you had to replace the whole yeah, thing. Yeah, I had to replace the whole. You thing. don't have to. You do. I do. You do. Okay. Uh, I was about to say like your friend. Did, so you don't have to. It was like when did you when did you flood when did your friend flood out his house? <laughs> <laughs> So I told them okay. So I call, I call, I went to a plumbing supplier, asked for 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 for, for help. So yes. they gave me this guy. So this guy was it was too. What big. plumbing supply house did you go to? Um, Remember? Uh, what's some more church? What's that thing? Oh, in uh, Wilson Park, a Bali. Yeah, I believe so. Okay. So they gave me. So they so they they, re they sent you. They recommended someone for yes. you. Yes, that's nice of them. Yeah, but the guy was busy. Yeah, but uh, I told, but he, I mean, we came to talking, and I, I told him I was very handy and everything. So he told me, you know what? 
if you think you can do it, I'm going to draw your plan. And then, um, you know, we, if you need help, then, um, then you can call me. So he drew me this plan right here. So I ran everything in the back with the, with the, with this new, with this new system. Okay. So I ran everything. I did everything. And when it comes to the wiring, I called him. He came by. I'm not sure if he was happy or not happy. The fact that I did it. So he kind of ghosted me. Okay. So now I'm up to you know it's quite fascinating what's been done here. Nice setup for five zones. It's four zones. Well, yeah, one for the oh, indirect. Yeah, okay. yeah. You have the gas fired water heater still sitting. Something's leaking. Yeah, something is leaking. It started leaking. Is the water heater leaking? Yeah, no, it's not leaking from. I thought that, I thought it was coming from the from the, the tank itself is leaking. But the bottom, yeah. 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 It started, it started leaking about a week, a week, two weeks ago. Yeah. So, um, so what, what you, you what you have mm -hmm. uh, needs to be. Uh, listen, you 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 may. Uh, I don't even know if it would. Uh, you could theoretically use the steam boiler. But you'd have to redo all the controls on it. You can't keep steam controls on a on a on now a forced water system on a hydronic system. Okay. You don't have any controls that will regulate the boiler for hydronic hot water heating. You have your low water cutoff for a steam boiler in place. You have a pressure troll in place for a steam boiler. The sight glass is still there. Um, the boiler is, as long as it's intact and it's... So just imagine, imagine for a brief moment that it's November, December, February. It's 20 degrees out, snowstorm. Customer has... Uh, had the fire department come out there because the boiler burnt down, right? Because there's no means for the flame to be controlled by temperature, all right? There's no, <laughs> nothing, whatever. It's like, come on, it's a pressure troll, all right? And it's a 15 PSI relief valve. Just let that sit for a minute. Just imagine what would happen. You went to sleep one night, you know, turned the boiler on, you know, for the first time it's going to be running overnight because uh, it's cold out. And uh, in the middle of the night, something goes wrong with the boiler and you don't wake up in the morning. It can happen, ladies and gentlemen. It can happen. And this further strengthens the need for people to have licensed and competent and qualified professionals working on their HVAC equipment. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you in the next one. Be well. God bless. Stay safe.